Good morning and welcome back to KSNT News here on your Thursday morning. It's my pleasure to have Kylene Frost here from hy V, And uh, you're telling us this morning that we have two brains in our body. Explain, explain that to us. Okay, <laughs> so, um, you know, gut health is very much a big topic in today's conversations. And um, we're actually finding out that it's connected to a lot more things than we originally thought. So our... Um, our digestion is actually connected not only to helping us digest our food but absorb nutrients um, but also where we're finding more emerging science and evidence is that it is connected to our immunity okay and then also to our brain and mood functioning absolutely so um, I brought kind of three ideas here today to improve your gut health okay your stomach has a mind of its own, so how can we improve it? So over here on this um, corner, you've got three different items. So I'm starting with probiotics, which okay. is um, probably a well-known term by most these days. Um, so you've got an example of the Greek yogurt, or just yogurt in general, um, sauerkraut, and kombucha. There's also oh, okay. kimchi. Um, those are going to be your cultured fermented foods. They have live microorganisms okay. that basically will set up the gut health, um, establish ground there, and um, um, make sure that they're in good ratio to the bad gut health or bad um, bacteria. Yeah. So, okay. um, like I said, you know, those are most common today. For good um, probiotics. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But a lot of people aren't very familiar with prebiotics. So, okay. these are some prebiotic foods. What they are, they're fiber rich. And what they do is they feed that good gut bacteria. Okay. So, um, you've got examples like the beans, legumes, bananas, onions, um, garlic everything there. Um, so what that does is not only allow the um, good bacteria to survive, but okay. it also helps it thrive. Okay. So that's key. So you want both. So which brings me to my third point. Okay. Um, this is a new product. Um, it's our dietitian pick of the month at hy V. It's called Regular Girl. It's actually a prebiotic fiber and a probiotic blend. Oh, okay. So okay. they work symbiotically. So eating the foods together and or adding the sins. So I was going to show an example yeah. of an um, easy way to do that. Okay, so, let's do it. What do we um, got? We've got a Granny Smith guacamole here. Ooh, so okay. we're going to start with our fresh avocados. Um, go ahead and add the onion. Okay. And then we're going to add our um, regular girl fiber there. Okay. And actually that's five grams of fiber per scoop, so you can add the whole thing. Oh, wow. Okay. And then we're going to add powder. our lime juice. Okay and then our hot sauce. And then I'll let you kind of mash that together. A little hot sauce, okay. So um, even though you can see it right now, that regular girl will actually dissolve completely in there and okay. you can mash it to the texture that you like. Okay. Um, it will it will dissolve completely in there. You won't taste it. It's odorless um, and it's textureless too. Okay, great. So then we'll go ahead and fold in the rest of the ingredients, our apples and our cilantro. Okay, and voila. And then basically have it. So Yeah, you have um, it over here as the finished product. It looks amazing. I cannot wait to try it. <laughs> <laughs> well, Kylene, thank you so much for being here with us today. The difference between prebiotics and probiotics and a gut, your gut is basically uh, the second brain in your body. So make sure you take care of it. Thank you for being here with us today. Thank you. And from there, we're going to head on over to our weather forecast with meteorologist David George.